Welcome, 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 everyone. Come on in and join me another Sunday night. Welcome, everyone. Tari and Hyman here. This is my Empowered Spirit Show, the energy focus for the week. We have so much going on in the cosmos starting this week, next week, all of this next month that we're in now, March, actually this month. So much to talk about. So how is everybody doing tonight? First and foremost is the podcast. Let's talk about that. We had a really fun podcast talking to Sterling Moon up in Colorado. Her new book, Talking to Spirits, was so much fun. She works out of a cute little shop, kind of like Ritual Shelter down here. Shout out to them. And they are carrying the book. She works up in Colorado at a place called Ritual Craft. And she's really put together a really fun book, like how you can use the wisdom of your own ancestors, the wisdom of your own folklore to bring your magic forward. I was laughing so much on the show when I interviewed her because she said, yeah, she was talking about her traditions. And then she started talking about, well, you're from the South, are you? I'm like, yeah, I'm from the South, I admit. She's like, well, you guys have Vicks Vapor Rub. And I thought I was going to fall off my chair. It was so funny because it is a it is a standard joke in our house. With my sister, like Vicks, is a remedy for everything. So really, it got us all thinking, really, on the podcast, like, what are the remedies of your ancestors? What is the magic? And I know lots of times we want to kind of like throw it out like it doesn't really work. But when we keep bringing that wisdom forward and we keep connecting to all life, our ancestors and everything, we bring such a depth to life. We make it fun. We don't always have to agree, all right? We don't always have to agree with all of the rituals. And we get to choose. We get to bring the messages in and we get to choose what we want to bring forward according to where we are right now in our own lives and our own past. So her book is all about ways in which you can learn to communicate. We talk about mediumship. We talk about haunted houses. We talk about the paranormal. We talk about different ways of measuring the paranormal. Really was a great, great episode. Check it out. It's a lot of fun. And see what magic you can bring forward in the wisdom of your ancestors so you can pass it down, you can carry it on, or maybe you'll choose to shift it a little bit for your own family and the generations that will come after. Check it out. A big shout out to our sponsor for Cast Salon, located here in Birmingham, a hair salon really dedicated to creativity, education, inspiration for all of their clients. Super excited. I'm getting a haircut on Wednesday. Yay. So shout out to all of them over there as well. All right, so the big news is that big old full moon coming up right now. It's going to be in Virgo Tuesday morning, very early. A lot of shifts coming in. A lot of shifts coming in. Well, we have the energy of Pisces, all right? Pisces is the water. It's our emotions. Hey, Mercedes. It's our emotions. It's how we feel. It's deep. It also has a lot to do with here at the end of the zodiac, right? That's where Pisces comes in, end of winter. Loss, letting go, releasing out, let the water element flush through, let the water element move through all your ancestral energy as well. Let it flush out so that you can step into the spring feeling really, really good. All right, Virgo energy, on the other hand, is earth. All right, Virgo is that like, you know, really like that goddess energy, be in alignment. What is your true purpose? It's also a lot of service. I say watch your boundaries, all right? Definitely watch your boundaries. Virgo tends to want to just give and give and help and help and serve and serve, which is beautiful until it becomes people-pleasing, energy drain, stuff like that, which actually, speaking of which, I will be doing a master class a couple of weeks. Get on the list if you want more information all about the dark side of energy drains. However, I will be teaching about energetic boundaries. Not everybody talks about that. We all have this invisible force of energy, and I'm going to be talking about how you can use that energy force to help you with these boundaries. Check it out. The link will be in there. So as we move into this week, that full moon is coming around. This is an opportunity for you check in with the truth of who you are. Go back and look at those, those intentions that you set in January. You know, we were talking about dropped one of the cards. We were talking about... At the beginning of the year, right, when we started the beginning of the year, we had all of that retrograde. And everybody's like, oh, oh, we got to wait till the year. All that retrograde gets out. We've got to wait till we can go in direct motion, which is where we are right now. And so we have this energy coming in. We have Saturn coming in. Saturn is our to-do. Saturn is the discipline. Saturn is helping us. It's big karma, too. It really is. It's like we're releasing the old karma 
new karma will be starting out. So really the question is like, what can you let go of? What can you really, really, really just like say, okay, winter, done. Let's leave this in winter so that you can step forward and find new dreams, new hopes, new paths, new shifts, new patterns that you can work with. It really is. And so Virgo energy will help you look at where you are in your own path. What is the truth to who you are? What is that vibration you want to bring forward, especially as we open up to the next season? It does help you to make new contracts. It does help you to make... I guess I could say new karma because Saturn's kind of the old planet of karma. We have some Pluto energy coming in in two weeks as well. And Pluto's kind of that newer karma. So really noticing issues, mistakes, things you doubt, things you wonder about. This is the time to clear it up, especially as that moon gets really big and full of light. That's where you want to like breathe that light in, bring that energy in so that you can release out all those things that keep you stuck, get your energy drained so that you can open up to new structures, new foundations, new ways of bringing your dreams out into the world. So we definitely have a lot of energy coming in. If you look in the sky Friday night after a start of class, teach over at the Yoga Circle. We have a great time Friday night, balls, Reiki, the whole bit. We opened the door and we saw the big old moon, not quite full, but it looks it, right? But we also saw Venus and Jupiter just lined up. There they were. And it's just like, yeah, breathe it in. Breathe the vibrations of these planets. Pluto comes in to help magnify Venus. Venus is our beauty, our love, our passions, and how we open up to that. So where can you bring this energy in? Take some time on Tuesday to notice. Go back and review those intentions you set. All right. Generally, we talk about new moon, new intentions, but as this moon is growing full, we're still working with that growth of light, that growth of intention. So this is when you want to bring that work forward for you. It's always best if you notice where these fall in your chart. I have to admit I did a reading myself. Give Mandy Ray a shout out just to check where things were going and where I'm working just to make sure I'm in alignment with what I'm doing. So it is always good, but there is a lot of shifts going on. Notice where you are in your own truth of who you are. Notice where you are in the service that you bring forward to Mother Earth right now. All right, and don't let yourself, like sometimes Virgo energy can get a little picky and a little pinpointing, oh, you're not this, you're not this. Don't let that occur. Take some time to release, to breathe, to sit with Mother Earth. I was up at the medicine wheel today. Love going up there. Hadn't been up there in a while. Not since the raccoons got in, all right? No raccoons today, but... When I walk in, when I go up to the medicine wheel, it's big. It's huge. Big property. I've created this beautiful circle of energy. And first, it's overwhelming. But it's like, okay, what does the medicine wheel teach us? Be present. And so I offer the same. Like, don't let yourself get so overwhelmed with everything going on with all the spring energy, but be present. So I worked in the direction of the north, right? As we're finishing, we're moving into the east. And then you can always choose, like, which way do I want to go? I started moving forward. So do the same with your own energy these next couple of days ground notice what you want to bring forward into the spring and especially what you want to cut the cords on and leave behind big old full moon comes in on tuesday let that be the emphasis for your week this for your work this week and bring that energy forward for you all right so let's just take a moment and ground and center and prepare for this beautiful week ahead so if you can take a moment you can close your eyes if you want I'm going to light some fire as we call in the sacred elements. Fire helps us with that transmutation, transformation of energy, allowing it to move into the air, the mind, cleansing the space, cleansing your light, calling in the water, opening the heart to your why, your work, and calling in Mother Earth to ground and center. Taking a nice deep inhale up the body. And exhale, bringing that breath all the way down. Grounding, centering, call in your energy. Call it back in. Inhaling and exhaling. Pulling it down as you call in your spirit. Feel that energy right on top of the physical body. Aligning, slowing down, centering. Take another deep inhale. And as you exhale, coming right into the heart, right into the deepest part of your heart, feel that connection, your spirit and the greater spirit, 
Know that you are known. Know that you are loved. Feeling all this energy coming in around you, supporting you, guiding you. So we take this moment to call in the masters, the teachers, the archangels for joy, the crystal beings for protection, magnification, calling in your own spirit guides, feeling all this energy coming in as we open up to this new week ahead, open up to this full moon. Take a moment, setting an intention deep into your heart. What is that intention for you? See it, feel it, hear it, know it. And allow those elevated emotions just to radiate out all around you. Setting that energy for you. Bringing the awareness back. Grounding. Centering. Holding that vibration as you open up to this week. Blinking the eyes back open. Coming back. Interesting cards this week. The first card, maybe you saw on the reel I put out there, is the death card, but it's reversed. So when this card shows up reversed, it talks about the resistance to change. All right, death card is sometimes scary for people, but it's not really. It's talking about shedding a layer, exactly what we're talking about, this Virgo full moon coming in. Let something go, that Pisces energy, release it out. And and this is, and he's, see the water? He's talking about the water, he's in the boat. But this is about when it's reversed, like why are you resisting the change? What are you holding on to? And we see it coming up in the next card as well, the sixth of water, which is reversed as well. And this is like resisting the change, afraid to move out of the comfort zone, afraid to let go, thinking like, oh, this energy, I'll never have this innocence of love again. So we want to hold on. Not good. When we hold on to energy, we block the energy instead of allowing it to flow. Now, this next card, the seven of earth, this is some of that Virgo energy. Virgo sometimes helps you to say like, okay, I'm working on this. I'm working on this. I'm working on this. But then something else pops out like, oh, I need more attention here. Oh, this needs a little bit more work. And this is seven is our spiritual number. Earth is our work, our pentacles, our money. So there is something, and Virgo can help you find this. As you open up to this full moon, what needs more attention? All right, I love this card, always the star. This is like renewed faith, renewed belief. Spring will bring us that. Where can you renew that faith with your path and the work that you're doing so that you can open up? All right, so the message is don't resist the change. Try not to hold on too much to the comfort zone. Open up to the innocence. The innocence of your younger self, your inner self, be at one with that. Know that there is some attention that you may need to focus in on with that Virgo energy. All right, ask yourself, look at your intuition or look at your intentions. Where can I open up? You can use your intuition for that. And then find that renewed faith for your path. Look at the butterfly. Look how she's poised and ready to go. Where can you bring this energy forward for you? All right, take a deep breath. Let me know how that resonates. Let me know if you'd like a card, if you have a question. So this week, Tuesday, full moon, I will be over at Ritual Shelter. going to do a beautiful sound bath. I think it's sold out, but just check just in case somebody backed out. It's Tuesday night, 7 p.m. All right, also I'm over at the Yoga Circle Tuesday mornings at 8.30 a.m. and Friday evenings, restorative yoga at 5 p.m. I have a, a Reiki 2 coming up. If you're local or online, either way, I'm going to be working with both. March 18th and 19th, reach out. All right, reach out for that as well. And be sure to check out the next master class coming up. I'm very excited to work energetically with boundaries. All right, let's see. Mark and I will take cards. All right, Mark. Mark, you got the devil card. All right, so this card, this card is about self-sabotage. Where are you getting in your way? Is it in your mind? Is it a habit? Is it not wanting to get out of the comfort zone? So this really is more about... You know, the vices that we use, the things that get in our way. And I would say, you know, just like don't get in your head too much. Don't let yourself be doubting what's going on. Open up to the truth of who you are. Marissa, eight of earth. This is abundance, prosperity. Yay, this is about the work that you're doing. Notice how things are building. Look at this beautiful spiral. Keep building that abundance. Things are building and growing. All right, excellent. Kika, Kika, what's going on out there? Kiko, you got the father of water. So this is a very loving, this is like a King Arthur energy. This is also an entrepreneur, fairly like fair and building. This is like, 
you know, bringing in the emotions. Let's just, um, again, King Arthur, I think is the best way. Like having that influence, being fair, being loving, opening up, bring some of that beautiful influence from your dad forward for you. Talk to him. All right. Definitely. All right. Let me know if I missed anybody here. All right. So yes. Yes. All right. So yes, you can. The Reiki class is going to be online as well as in person. Let me know if you're interested. All right. And also the master classes will be coming up either way. All right, you guys. So it is, I know, Kika, can you believe three years? My mom, four, my dad, so many. But his, his loving nature is coming forward for you. That's what this card is about. The beauty that he offers, the loving heart, that compassion of his soul. So bring him forward. All right, you guys, we've got lots of big changes. Do a ceremony, do a ritual for that full moon. Bring that energy forward for you. Where can you open up to bigger parts of your life? We are all going through major shifts, major, major, major shifts. Time to step forward. Need some help, need some inspiration. Check it out. I am here for you. So taking a moment as we go to close and prepare for the week. Take a nice deep inhale. Exhale all the way down, deep into the earth. Coming back to that intention, feeling it in your third eye, feeling it in the heart. Let it radiate out all around you. Gratitude for the spirit. Gratitude for the greater spirit. Gratitude for these beautiful energies of the full moon coming in. Check out the podcast, To Your Spirit, Namaste.